South Korea has suffered a setback in its attempt to join the space race. It's launched its first homegrown space rocket, but its maiden mission failed to put a dummy satellite into orbit. The country still plans to conduct further launches of the Nuri rocket next year, as Lim Yun Suk reports. The Nuri blasted off at 4 p.m. local time on Thursday as people cheered at the Seoul train station where it was being shown live. Even this eight-year-old boy. I'm so happy, he said, holding in his hands a picture of the rocket that he had drawn earlier. Even though the launch fell short of its mission, the boy said he was still proud of it. Others commended the launch, saying it marked an important milestone in South Korea's space technology. South Korea has come a long way since its first satellite booster, Naro, was launched in 2013. That was developed with the help from Russia. For 12 years, South Korea worked on this Nuri rocket that cost about 2 trillion won, so 1.6 billion U.S. dollars. Weighing about 200 tons and measuring 47.2 meters long, it is fitted with six liquid-fueled engines. South Korea will be planning formal launches of the Nuri rocket starting next year to increase its reliability, which experts say will help enhance its space technology. The launch will be important for South Korea's plans to launch civilian satellites into the orbit, and that would allow South Korea to monitor what is going on in the north. Currently, it relies heavily on the United States. Lim Yang Sook, CNA, Seoul.